Hi there, well today I'm gonna make a risotto with roasted butternut squash, some vegetables, some chicken. And the first thing I'll generally do is peel the butternut squash because of course that's gotta go into the oven. And I love that kind of, that vibrant yellow color of it. It's just lovely, isn't it? I'll take the ends off first. And then of course we need to cut it down the middle and then just scoop out the seeds. So what I'm gonna do, because it's going into the oven, I'm gonna to need to put it, to chop it into fairly small chunks. I never know if I'm chopping the right way. I've just always kind of chopped this way. Actually, I'm just thinking that might, might be enough, actually. So now, give that a good um, basting of olive oil. I think I'll just put a little bit of oregano in just to, uh, just to kind of flavor it a bit in the oven. So I'm gonna put that in the oven and those should roast. Right, next thing I'm gonna do is the chicken. Olive oil again. Love that sizzling sound straight away. Might have added a little bit too much oil there. All right, let's move that onto a cooler ring. <laughs> right, let's start the risotto. So I'm gonna cut the onion now. I've got a, a red onion and a white onion here. So I was always told when you cut onions, you cut them in half, then what you do is cut the head and the tail of each one, and apparently that stops them making your eyes water. Do you see any tears? <laughs> no, you don't see any tears. No, I'm not. I mean, honestly, my eyes aren't watering at all. So okay, I'm not having it too small. Onions all done. Right, let's go back and see how the chicken's getting on. And that's pretty much done, isn't it? Suddenly come to me. Brown sugar, tiniest bit of brown sugar. A, it will give the chicken a fantastic colour, and B, it will just give it a little bit of sweetness, which I think actually in this dish will work quite well. Mm. So I could eat the chicken out of the pan just like that, that's wonderful. Delicious. Let's get the onions in there, first of all. A bit of garlic in there as well. Give them a bit of a, a bit of a sweating, I guess. Talking of sweating. Whew. And then it's time to put some of that rice in there. Got a good amount of the rice. Coat the rice with that oil. All right, so let's make some stock. I'm using vegetable stock. Put about 400 litres of vegetable stock. 400 litres, 400 millilitres. Because 400 litres, that would really uh, feed the whole village. Add the stock. I'm going to add it. Just a little bit of time in this way. Right, I want to put this on a light, slightly lower heat. So I kind of don't want it to boil too, too ferociously, really. Let's add some herbs at this point. So a herb that I like using in risotto is definitely thyme. Just throw a couple of stalks in. So let's put some basil in there as well. All right, so now I'm going to make the salad. Watercress is already prepared. Add some red pepper. So I want this to be quite chunky, so I'm actually going to put sort of quite large strips of the pepper um, into the salad. Look at that, fresh and delicious, scrummy. So I need to stir the risotto because that's starting to really, now look at that. What I think it now needs to kind of bring all the flavours together is a little bit of wine. I'm not going to measure it, I'm going to just pour in a little bit. So I'm gonna let that sit and absorb a little bit more. Wine for the risotto. Wine for the chef. Mm. Now we can add the chicken, sugary chicken. Oh, look, it's great. Oh, yum. I have made a complete mess in this kitchen. Look, absolutely scrumptious. Without going too mad, I'm gonna put a bit of ricotta cheese in there. So that ricotta has just sort of bound everything together. Ready now to serve that. I think we'll have a couple of a sprigs of a, a basil. Okay. Dress my salad. An orange, olive oil, and uh, white wine vinegar dressing. Oh, yeah. So there we have Craig's special butternut squash, chicken, and ricotta risotto alongside a fresh salad of watercress, peppers, and Craig's orangey, zesty dressing. So, 
there we are. Enjoy.